I was on a trip into Alaska on my boat about a year and a half ago and was in the bathroom one night and fell down. I don't remember exactly why, but I fell and ended up with a broken arm. The arm was broken so badly, and I think it's probably because of the osteoporosis in the, in the bone. Uh, they said, there isn't anything we can do for you here. This is in uh, a little town in Alaska. They did have an x-ray machine, and they looked at it and said, it's uh, pretty bad. So they said, we can fly you off to uh, another town or back to Seattle or try and get this thing fixed. I said, well, it's easy. I got my airplane right here. I was going to leave in the morning anyway. We'll just get out there right now, and we'll fly back to Grand Rapids, Michigan. When they first uh, mentioned to me that I had a bone problem, I, I was a little surprised uh, because I I'm a guy who's in and out of a lot of doctor's offices. I'm a diabetic. I, uh, you know, you have a heart transplant. I've had uh, three open heart surgeries. Uh, you know, so they've been in my body a lot. I had a bad staph infection following one of the surgeries. And so I was uh, medicated for that heavily. And that was uh, almost uh, one that took me out. But uh, so I had all these medical people around me, but nobody ever, ever emphasized to me uh, osteoporosis or talked to me. Uh, it was always seems like it was a woman's problem. And uh, I, I never thought of it relative to myself. So when this occurred, uh, suddenly the flags go up and the horns go off and you start to pay attention. So, you know, I think the, the problem is not only helping doctors learn how to pay attention to it and, and medicate for it, but to help the patient come to a better understanding of they have the bones, it's their bones, and the patient finally is going to have to tend to it. Uh, don't sit and rely on a doctor to find it or to discover it for you, uh, like I had to. I, it was after you had a break that you do that, uh, thanks to uh, the alertness of Jones and, and their insistence upon my following a different regimen. I got a little mad at the, in the beginning because they said, well, I got to have another blood test. We need another this for that. And, all just checking your bones, make sure your bones are all right. And I said, well, my bones are all right. And as he said to me at the time, he said, you take one more spill and it's probably gonna be a bone in, in your hip and you're never gonna walk again and your lifestyle's gonna change totally. Well, fortunately, I'm still traveling on my boats and still having fun and still moving around and still enjoying life. But uh, that's because somebody paid attention to it and tried to take care of me. And uh, we took it seriously and we modified our life and changed the way we do things to make sure that we're doing all we can to uh, medicate ourselves and do dietary things to improve our, our concern for our good old bones. Fractures can be prevented with steps toward improved bone health. Own the Bone salutes all medical professionals and patients who are already working together to improve bone health.